Welcome back, y'all. I'm back at it. With seven days to die. <laughs> that just sound funny. But, um, yeah, just got that eaten. But, um, yeah. This mother loving, um, fruit flying. This mother love. I tried to blow at the nigga so he can go away. But, um, yeah, of course, shout out to the other audience. And, of course, Ali Sadiq Comedy. As for his channel. But, as for himself, shout out to Ali Sadiq. Also, shout out to It's Real 85, The Goat, and Lay It Down in Gaming. I highly recommend y'all go check out all three channels. But also check out the most recent and previous videos in the sense of also uh, Reels uh, car show that he just uploaded onto his channel. And uh, yeah, go enjoy yourselves. And aside from that, stay absolutely blessed, stay safe, and we in here. You'd be sleeping by now. No, I just had to um, just had to go chill with my friend Sherry and um, yeah, I told uh, I told Johnny that um, I'm a play with him, but not for as long as he said I don't have to play. Like if I don't make it till then. Then, um, you know, he said he understand. I don't have to force myself, but, you know, I still want to try to play with him or whatever, because, you know, I did tell him I was going to do it, so then I got a lot of, um, I'm about to hook him up with and stuff like that, too. And once I get this stuff done, I won't have to, you know, have in the back of my head that while I'm trying to go to sleep, I didn't achieve and attain all that I sought out in the game. Understood. Oh, believe me, it's so easy for me to just fall onto my bed right now, but I'm just pushing through it because at the same time, I'm getting something done in the sense of getting content out, and uh, yeah. 
freaking um my sister just got back but my nephew being bad again i don't know why he'd be bad i gave him the cheat codes to not get in trouble but hey he he don't take him i guess he don't want to cheat well then again it ain't really cheating i don't know i'm just rambling sleep rambling sleepiness rambling i don't know Man, I'm looking for houses to buy, but at this point I'm never gonna be able to afford one. They all cost half a million dollars and up. Dang, what the freaking heck? Now that's dang crazy right there. I don't forget what I was trying to do too on top of that. Um, I really forgot what I was about to, oh, gotcha. Yeah. It's just like, The only way I can see myself getting one is if I get married and my woman helps me out. That yeah. or I get a job that pays one hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. And that's just not 
That's just not out there like that. I can definitely get the job. But it's going to take time to grow up in the ladder. Yeah. I need to further my skills and experience. Got you. I have this urge that I want a son. Like it's weird, man. Well, I'd say just don't rush it because, yeah, you can have one, but if you have it with the wrong person, things can go down real quick. And I don't mean down like, oh, it's going down. I mean, like, downhill. Right. You don't want to rush it. I just say that much. I see miserable people. All because of the other one really not caring. And the other person is doing all the caring and emotional caring and all, all that other stuff stuff. As long as I have my kid, it doesn't matter to me. The only consequence would be the boy growing up without a mother. And a boy needs his mom. Yes, yeah, so I don't see how that works. Especially how women is nowadays. They'd be quick to say they don't need a nigga. But, um, yeah, and, um, that's understandable, too. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. They just all programmed. Oh, I don't need a nigga. I don't need a nigga. Then why y'all looking like clowns with all this makeup on without y'all real faces on and stuff like that? Trying to look good, as y'all would think. But y'all don't need a nigga. I don't need a nigga. I don't need a nigga. Oh, we finna go out clubbing. Oh, I don't need a nigga. Hmm. Oh, no. I just... It's weird as heck. Why go out and do anything if you don't need niggas? If niggas are the ones you're trying to impress with money. Because the niggas with money that you trying to impress, they don't really care for you. They got a drunk load of women at their disposal option wise. Makeup. Sure, if she likes using a little bit, then that's all right. Yeah. But I dislike the ones that using the whole paint. Like you could literally paint a wall. Yeah, I'm just like, I'd rather see your real face because if I'm gonna wake up to something or I'm gonna wake up next to something, I'll. Nah, nigga, I ain't trying to see something that's looking close to a zombie or whatever, if it's that bad. 
But, um, yeah, nah. Mm -mm. Face with tears of joy. I know where I'm at. I just got to make it to the merchant. I'm coming up on that big gorge in the ground. Just need some cloth fabric. Find uh, like some clothing and just destroy it. Now I won't find in all the deliciousness in the spot that I originally wanted to go to. My person is overheating. Yup. This is not good. I gotta get inside. My dude is about to burn the freaking heck up. Temperature still up. It's just staying at 122. HMM, I wonder what the clip button does in this game. Clip button? Maybe your clothing is too much. What clip button? Sometimes if you have thick clothing, it does that. No, it's not the clothes. I don't got on thick clothes. YouTube clips button. Oh, oh. Hmm. Got you. Yeah, I got clips or whatever, but nobody really watch them, so I'm just like, yeah, nah, I'm good. I don't really need it. <clears throat> Temperature going down. I got 15,000. Clip button is useless. Hmm. Only allows you to share a clip. Yeah. I so nobody it was like Twitch where it would save the clip. Mm-mm. -mm. Like, it'll save it to your own little stuff to where to say your clips, but you can only go back and look at it, I think. I don't think other people can see them, because I got a whole bunch of clips from Battlefield 4 that I saved up from one of my old videos on my uh, other channel. Rip headstone.
I went to the Chevrolet dealership today. This dude pissed me off. What he did? I had maintenance done on my truck last week and it took three hours. Hmm. Did he do it on purpose? Was it deli uh, deliberate? They yesterday and told me they left a tool and could I return it. Hmm. What kind of stupid bull junk is that? That just sound weird. Sound like they just want your truck back over there so they can try to take something out of it. I told them no. Yeah. They said it was property of the dealership, and I told them I'll bring it back next maintenance. I don't want like y'all niggas said have... they would pay me for my gas. I don't like y'all niggas should have been responsible if y'all niggas a whole company and all. Why y'all niggas leaving, you know, y'all stuff up in my personal vehicle? Like, nigga, what? I don't like y'all some grown niggas. You know, messing around with, you know, oil, grease, metal, all kinds of stuff, rubber from the tires, everything. And y'all niggas saying that y'all left some stuff and y'all acting like little kids that had this crowns taken. Heck no. Nah. So I was like, Ike, they're gonna fill up my tank. Dude, put 20, 20 bucks in gas. $20 ain't going to feel nothing. Like, nigga, what? Gonna do. Yeah, nah, I wouldn't have wasted my time. Nah. Them niggas just wanted their stuff and they did whatever in the sense of just saying whatever sounded good to you. And then once you actually got there, they gave you bull junk. Such a waste. Then I had this lady flirting with my at the dealership. She would not shut the hell up. Started telling me about her dogs and shit. Yeah, I would have told her straight up like I'm not feeling your energy and... If I say something negative, that's going to be because you're pushing the envelope. I need you to back up. Nice as I can possibly be. And if at that point she keep proceeding on, hey, that's what it is. I mean, she was doable, but I was not interested. No, I can care less if they doable. If they talk too much or they got right. bull drink, that's mainly annoying. I won't be able to tolerate them. Yeah, I won't be able to. Well, I don't know if she a lady, but I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't tolerate nothing like that. Even if she got a good body or a good looking body or whatever, it ain't worth it because you're going to have to be around her once y'all done doing whatever. And then she's going to go to talking to you again. Then it's going to be weird because then you're going to ghost her. Got you. It's just how I was taught. Yeah. I was just mainly going by just the fact that she was 17. I view it from the standpoint of her being still like a kid and a standpoint from like Scott Pilgrim versus the world when um he was with that, uh, I think she was, I don't know what she All was, right, 17 or 18. I don't remember the age, but I know his, um, his friends and everything that he went to school with was clowning him because it was like, oh, you were a morning period or something as it's to what they called the high school Mexico, girl. But America is different. Yeah. I don't know if she cool with it, then hey, nothing can be done. In a In sense, Mexico, so. Once you turn 15, they're ladies. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Actually, I also think it depends on the state. Yeah. Like with the uh, eastern places like the Taliban and all that too, they probably on that in a sense of like having women talk at early ages of how to do things. That way, once they get of age, it, you know, they won't make any mistakes. That way their head don't have to end up on their parents, you know, doorstep. Mm. Yep, my character is just sitting here burning up. Play for PC. Yeah, they would have made a lot more money if they did that. But, you know, game companies sometimes be stupid. They got any revolvers in the game? Yeah, but they're not good and they'll get you killed real quick. If you ain't got something that shoot fast and has a, a good amount of like bullets within the clip, yeah, you as good as dead. Even with this, Damn. yeah, even with this, this freaking bow, I wouldn't even try it up against a dog because them dogs are maneuvering you. When you shooting like this, Whatever you shoot at, that arrow is going to go that direction. And that dog is going to be circling around you. And don't let it be two or three dogs jumping you. A bow and arrow ain't going to help you. Dang, show not a pistol, which is why I don't carry one in. I carry the MP5 because I can do single shot and I can go fully automatic or burst. So, yeah, I'd just rather not take the chance. Shotgun do good too, but you got to either have slugs for them um, to be cut off at a distance or wait till they get close and risk it but risking it is way more you know stupid because you can have zombies just walking up behind you and then boom they just smack you side the head the dog bite you you got internal bleeding or you just bleeding and then they all smacking you up and you just die nah i'm good on that forget all that Oh, I saw this sexy ass GMC at the dealership and it was a diesel truck. 
pretty cheap two fifty two thousand dollars. What the heck? How is that cheap? Fifty two thousand is cheap. What in the heck? You must have GTA five type money or something. Lol, my truck is seventy five thousand dollars. What the heck in heck? I'm kind of broke at the moment though. Stock market kind of ruined me. Yeah, that's what why I just rather not that? play with all that. Oh, the place opened up. That's the only reason I was standing out there. I had to wait for this piece of shit face to fucking open up. Welcome, survivor. Feel free to look around. That dude is immortal, apparently. I see what you mean by the voices. Told you I wasn't bull junking. Does this game even receive updates anymore? Looks pretty old. Yeah, honestly, I can care less if they get any updates. I'm just enjoying the game as is. You come back sometime. Yeah, if I'm wanting to play a game with updates, I'll go to Battlefield 2042 or something up to date. I won't look for stuff like that in a game like this. Welcome, survivor. Feel free to look around. I'd rather play Rust, but there's too many trolls. Rust is exactly like that, but with people. Yeah, I'd rather not deal with people. Yeah, it's usually a bunch of teenagers saying the N-word or calling your base. Point proven, which is why it'll be a waste of my time. Yeah, that's why stuff like that'll be a waste of my time. Which is more so the reason I care less for anything in correlation to colonizers spewing the N-word. Yeah, it, it's just, I can care less about that. Won't even put myself in a situation as to even hear them. Mm -mm. I wouldn't do that to myself. That'd be stupid. Mm. 
I used to play Rust a lot, and then I got banned by this sensitive ass admin. Hmm. Yeah, y'all can keep Rust. Cause I'd end up saying some stuff, making them colonizers wanna try me and all they'd get is the colonizer who tried me is Adam's apple, of course, internally, outside, within the oxygen, at the doorstep. I still got a video of the fat fuck. He had a YouTube channel. Got you. Dude banned from his server because I killed people while they were sleeping. What they expect from a game like that is survival. If you get caught, you know, messing up as such, then hey, that's on you. He said I was grieving then. Hmm. That just sound weird. It's like, nigga, what are you talking about? All right, nigga. Too many resources. Hmm. Yeah, my character might not make it. I remember I was happy because I stole some rocket launchers and C4S, which are the best items in the game and poo. Hmm. Banned. So many hours for nothing. Yeah, so you can see how I feel about my whole War Thunder situation. But that's that's gonna be resolved sooner than later. I'm gonna get my stuff back. I'm gonna be on point. I did enjoy making cave bases though. I would lay traps inside the cave and no one could rob me. I also had this elevator in the cave which was pretty cool. Gotcha. Fucking character about the fucking I dog. also had electricity in the cave, which was nice because I put turrets. You have fuck. I'm extremely fucking in order with this shit. Fucking infection. No fucking airdrop. Fucking person burning the fuck up. Rust is pretty funny to play though if you got a big team.